I'm Becca. Welcome to my art channel. Today, we are going to be painting this lovely 12 by 12 Dutch boar painting. Let's get to it. We're going to start off by defining the split composition. Here is titanium white, and I'm pouring this out of a yogurt container because I like to recycle as much as I possibly can. And this is an Aldi yogurt container. If you are an Aldi fan, you should definitely check out the indulgent Greek yogurt series that they have there. It's delicious. <laughs> Anyhow, the other side kind of looks like black, but this is actually Amsterdam Prussian blue. When it dries, it looks like it's black, but it's not. It's blue. And when it mixes with the white, it's going to create these beautiful gradients from dark blue to light blue to white. And I really love using this color. Although, it is completely transparent and I do have some issues with the sides showing through. So I wish in hindsight that I had remembered to paint my sides, but sometimes I do forget. And on this one, I forgot to paint my sides, but it's okay. I will just go back and touch it up with the paint once the painting is dry. My first pour color here is a custom purple that I don't know what's in it. It's just a custom purple that I mixed up a little while ago. Here is Amsterdam turquoise. I do love this color. And the second angle kind of makes that Prussian blue look black, but it's not, it's just the angle of the camera. And then I'm coming in with some gold that is mixed with Olga's group two recipe. And then I'm adding in a little bit more Prussian blue in the white because I really want to get those gradient effects that I was talking about. I'm also adding some white on the blue side. And then I'm going to come back in with some more gold, but this gold is actually mixed with the group one recipe and it's going to be our cell activator for this pour. So I've got the same color gold in here. One is the group two recipe, which is going to make it more flowy. And the other one is the group one recipe, which is going to give me cells and wait till you see these cells pop up. They're just amazing. Look at those cells forming. Oh, it's so cool. I love the way that that works. And here is a close-up of the wet results. I really love the way that those cells formed. I love the flowing, gradiating blues and purples that fade from light to dark and dark to light. This one is very much go with the flow with my finger swipes and details that I've added. I love the way the purple almost looks pink in some places, and I'm really happy with the final results. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you for the next one.